guys welcome back to my channel and today I filmed my curly hair routine for you guys so that's what today's video will be about I'm gonna be taking you guys on basically what I do on my hair wash day so this is how the curls look and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video so make sure to subscribe and like to watch more beauty lifestyle videos productivity videos so i just got out of the shower i already shampooed and conditioned my hair i'm gonna show you guys real quick what i use um for my shampoo and conditioner so this is the shampoo that i use i wonder if you guys can see it it is the curl smith vivid tones vapor c shampoo um, I honestly started using this like a few months ago and I really really like it. I also like the smell and honestly it's a pretty good um, shampoo but it is on the pricey side. It's like $30 just to let you know. And then for my conditioner, um, I use the She Moisture, the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Conditioner. This is actually a really really good conditioner um this is my second bottle and it's a, almost i'm almost done with it as well but it's really really good it really does hydrate your hair and um also it smells really good too so now that i shampooed and conditioned we i'm gonna um comb my hair just to make sure there's no tangles i comb it I like to go pretty soft and I start from the ends and work my way to the top. So now we are going to go in with the leave-in conditioner. And the leave-in conditioner I use is this one. You guys can find it at Target. This is really, really good as well. Um, this is my, uh, my second bottle that I'm on. Honestly, it's really really good it smells great i love the way that i honestly holds my curls it hydrates them it's just honestly really good you and it's not really pricey i think it's 12 dollars. so try it out now i put on pretty like a lot of conditioner so i will rub that i should have taken off my ring but i haven't so I part my hair into two sections and I'm going to put the first drop of conditioner on this side and then I just go through really softly. I start in the ends and then I work my way to the top. I do take time to really Make sure that the product gets in my hair, especially the ends. And don't mind if you see like a lot of hair falling out. My hair falls off a lot. Like whenever it's my hair wash day, like a lot of my hair does fall off. I have no idea why. But it's always been like that, honestly. Right, I'm going to take off my ring because I have conditioner. Okay, so now we're going to do the, the other side. Let me show you guys how much I put on. Yeah, that's how much I put on. I put on a lot. But, like I said, my hair is really, really dry and frizzy. So that's why I do condition it a lot. Because I just noticed a huge difference that whenever I, I honestly don't put enough conditioner, um, my curls just don't look good <laughs> my hair has gotten so long like like this one is where obviously it's damped it looks um really long but whenever obviously it dries and curls it's shorter okay now i'm gonna pray with the both sides um, like I said, make sure that you get the back because not it's not gonna look pretty. It's 
smells so, so good. I like the way it smells. But there we go. And now we are going to go ahead and put some mousse on. So the mousse that I use is the All About Curls Boosting Foam Lightweight Definition. I got this at Sally's Beauty. And honestly, it's a really, really great mousse as well. It is pretty lightweight and it does add a lot of definition as well to your curls. And I'm almost done with it as well. I'm going to go ahead and put it... I'm going to put more... <laughs> You guys probably can't hear anything. But now we're going to do this side first. Again, just go through it. in with the curl the curl cream the defining cream so this one is a pretty um heavy cream so i don't add a, too much of this but the one that i use is not your mother's curl top defining cream this is also um it's um not too expensive you can find this at target as well so like i said i only put a little bit i don't put too much of this because it is um, pretty heavy for my hair so this is how much I add and it's for both sides of my hair we're gonna go ahead and make sure to warm it up okay so now we're gonna go ahead and comb our hair to just like I said make sure that we get everything in <laughs> take your turn I'm gonna like flip my hair just so I can comb it upside down this kind of helps like my curls get more definition I'm gonna do that. Okay, now we're gonna shake it. I'm gonna kind of like give it a little scrunch, just a teeny bit. Wow. Now the most important part at least for me this product has been such a game changer for me and i know that for a many girls who have curly hair as well but this is honestly the best thing the most important thing in your curly hair routine and i recommend it i have noticed such a big difference in it um my hair um Typically is really frizzy and dry, but this really does help, you know, my um, curls not look so frizzy and honestly, they just it just makes my hair look so much more better and I've also noted that It has really also helped like my hair growth as well is Coconut oil Yes, coconut oil girl First of all, it smells great And it looks great <laughs> And you can get this from Amazon. And also, make sure that you get organic coconut oil. Like, make sure, like, the coconut oil that you get doesn't have any other, like, weird things, ingredients in it. Just make sure that it says coconut. Now, we're going to put this, mostly this, I try to put it on my ends. But I do tend to put it all over my hair. So, we're going to go ahead and... Get it in our hands and first we're going to start in our scalp oh it smells so good and you can actually like eat this but i mean i don't eat it i just 
I don't use it for my hair. You can cook with it as well. Who knows how, what other things you can do with it, but I'm gonna get it in our scalp. Really massage it into there. Okay, now we're gonna get some more. I'm gonna put it in our ends. And I like to put my hair, all of it, to one side so we can get this upper part as well. And I just go all the way through it. Nice. Okay, there we go. So now we're gonna give it a little bit of a little, another little scrunch. So this is how the hair so far is looking. Now we are going to diffuse it. This is the diffuser that I'm gonna be using. I don't always diffuse my curls, but I just really do like how um, it gives my curly hair like volume. And I feel like they look better. But even air drying, they look really nice as well. But I think I prefer to diffuse it. So now I'm going to go ahead and connect this. So the diffuser that I use is the Infinite um, Pro by Konar. Konar, I don't know how you say that, but. Um, but I did get this from Ulta, and it was like $70, $80, not that bad. So I'm going to put it on the warm and high volume. So, using it as you guys can see so this is how the curls are looking so far and it's still a little bit damp so I'm gonna wait till it gets a little bit dry and then I'll show you guys the final result okay guys so it's been almost like an hour and this is how my hair looks looks is so beautiful I normally like to keep this is the style that I mostly keep my hair in like this just on the to this on this side I just personally feel like it looks really good on me and I like that it kind of has like more volume and look and honestly my curl pattern is like kind of off because some parts are like much more curlier and it is still a little bit like a little bit damp so it's not like a hundred percent dry but this is how it looks so I really hope you guys enjoyed my curly hair routine video and thank you guys so much for watching if you watch to the end. And that is it for today. Thank you my loves and goodbye.